Hello and welcome to this Profit Protector Pro video. So today I'm going to be talking you through the automations, which is a great way of letting Profit Protector Pro do more work for you, meaning you can be a lot more hands-free and you can focus on other areas of your business. So in a nutshell, automations is a great way of preparing Profit Protector Pro for a certain situation or scenario. So if that particular situation was to occur, Profit Protector Pro will perform a preset action that you will have set up in this section here when you've created your automation. Now let's go ahead and um, give you an example automation. So to create one you need to click on new automation. Now you need to choose your automation setup method. So you can either use the wizard view which is exactly the same as what you'd have on the custom strategy section. So it's going to ask you one thing at a time or you have flow view where you can see all of the steps that you've done. So it'll ask you for one condition and then you'll have your next and as many conditions as you create and you can see that all on the same page. So for demonstration purposes, it'll be a lot easier for me to show you the flow view. So let's go ahead and select that one. So it's gonna ask me for an automation name. So you just enter in the name that you want to give it. And then it will have a set of conditions for you to choose from. So what you need to do is click on this and choose after an automation has been active for, when seller numbers increase to, when seller numbers decrease to, when stock falls below, when no sales have occurred for, if buy box goes below your minimum price, if buy box goes above your maximum price. So you can choose from any of those situations. So let's say for example, um, when no sales have occurred for and you can select um, x amount of days weeks or months so let's say there's been no sales for three three days uh, and let's say we are currently on the balance strategy so um, we might want to switch our strategy to the aggressive sales generator be a bit more competitive be a bit more aggressive in the hopes that that could generate us some cells and then we can move on to create another condition so you can add as many conditions as you like so when no sales have occurred for three days we're going to switch our strategy to the aggressive sales generator now if um, seller numbers decrease to let's say there's only one other seller on the listing let's go to or we can go to our minimum or maximum price we can switch strategy again we can match um, one of these prices here, so the buy box price, the mid FBA, high FBA, low, merchant fulfilled and so forth. Um, or we can go a particular amount, whether that is expressed in a regular currency value or as a percentage over or under one of these prices here. So it's completely up to you what you want to do. So let's say when seller numbers decrease to one, let's go to our max price. Let's add another condition. So when stock falls below, uh, let's say we have 25 in stock. So let's say when stock falls below five, we wanna be a bit more conservative whilst we get more stock in in order to replenish. So if stock falls below five, let's switch our strategy back to uh, the balance sales accumulator so it's not as aggressive as it was before and hopefully that will last us until we can replenish the stock and then make more sales from that point onwards. So you can add as many conditions as you like once you're happy with the automation that you've set up. Obviously I've just given you a random example there but you can create any kind of automation you want whether it has one condition, multiple conditions and um, for whatever scenario you want to prepare for it's completely up to you what you want to do. You can dictate what exactly you want the software to um, apply when that particular scenario occurs and only when that scenario occurs will it trigger that automation. So let's go ahead and save it. So as we can see the automation has appeared here and we can see when we created the automation or when we last edited it and if you want that to appear in your list of automations for your items, you need to make sure that it's toggled as on. You can go back and edit it, or if you no longer need that automation, you can use the bin icon to delete it. When a certain situation occurs and it matches the exact one that you've set up in your automation, you'll see on the item in your repricing page next to where it says automation that it will say that the automation is active. So you know that Profit Protector Pro is actively using the automation that you've set up, so it's applying that action. So to set your automation, what you need to do is come to the item in question and choose it from the drop-down list here. Again, it will only appear in that drop-down list if you have turned it on as active in the automation section. When you go to use a bulk inventory CSV as well and you have the automations column, you need to enter in the exact 
same name that you've used when setting up that automation when you're using that in a spreadsheet and want to apply an automation to a particular item don't forget to save that spreadsheet as well keep it as a csv and then upload it to profit protector pro in order for it to apply the changes but that is how you create an automation hopefully that goes a long way to helping you if you've not tried one yet i'd heavily recommend giving it a go if nothing else it's just a good backup for your main strategy you might not even need to use that automation it might never um, get triggered but just in case it can be a great backup plan for dictating how repricing happens on your item or what exactly profit protect pro is going to do if a certain scenario was to occur on that listing so go ahead give one a go don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you need any help please feel free to reach out to info at profitprotectorpro.com thanks for watching and i'll see you next time